Hey guys, what is up? And Shadowlands back for another quick commentary. Today I got asked a very nice question by I Go Snoopy in my clan. What would you do if CA died one day? Well, personally, I would probably just move to a game like Counter Strike or maybe Arctic Combat. I like these styles of games and the styles of physics that it has. The only thing I really don't like about the Counter Strike series is the jumping physics, but I mean, that's I can get past that. But Counter Strike Source and Counter Strike Global Offensive would probably take over my life, and Left 4 Dead would probably take a larger part as well, especially since Left 4 Dead 3 is going to be announced sometime soon, I am quite sure. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors of it, and I'm looking forward to that game if it gets released, so uh, I would probably be going somewhere towards that. But my question to you guys is, what would you do if CA died? Is there another similar game you guys would be interested in, or uh, what would you guys do? I mean, Counter-Strike is a paid game, Arctic Combat's not, Left 4 Dead is though, and a lot of the games I play are paid. I probably also would spend some more time on Minecraft, because I don't do that a whole lot right now, but as far as YouTube, I would probably move to a Minecraft channel, and I would start doing Minecraft videos, and Modern Warfare 3 survival recordings, that's probably what I would do most of the time. Uh, I'd probably move to Black Ops for the, for YouTube, and I would probably move over to Battlefield 3 a little bit, uh, although I'd have to get Battlefield 3 again because I actually lost my uh, uh, serial number to that, so I wouldn't be able to uh, play the same one I've got, I'd have to go rebuy it. I have Bad Company 2, but no one's really playing that anymore now that Battlefield 3's out, and it's such a phenomenal game, especially with Battlefield 3 Premium. But my point is, what would you guys do if CA died? There's lots of you guys that put hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars into this game, and there would be assume that you would get none of it back assume that you that no matter what you did threaten to sue nexon no matter what you did you wouldn't be getting any of that money back what would you do would you stop playing video games because i imagine quite a few you guys actually would at least for a while for me i have other things that i would possibly do i play tennis pretty competitively uh there's a lot of other games i play and just in general i have a lot of other stuff to fill my life but some people don't as far as for entertainment and just in general it's uh, it's kind of a problem for some people uh, not everyone is just so far out of combat arms that they can find something else to do. If I had to make personal suggestions, if you have money, Counter-Strike is the way to go. Get Counter-Strike Source and Global Offensive and you are set. It's basically combat arms, except it revolves more around Elim Pro than around Elimination. Not that you can, it even has a quarantine region type mode too, so that's pretty cool too. So. It's basically combat arms, except, in my opinion, better in some ways. There's no specialists, there's no things to ruin the game. It's basically an unruined version of combat arms, so you would take combat arms back to the place it was all those years ago. And on top of that, it's a moddable game, so you can make your own mods for it, unlike you can combat arms. You can even host your own servers. So in my opinion, there are some things about Counter-Strike that are better. But that's just my personal solution, and not everyone has the money to do that. So here's my question. Would you guys move to a game like Blacklight Retribution, which hit its big move last year and has become very popular since then? Would you guys move to Sudden Attack, another Nexon game, or maybe Vindictus, another very popular game like that? Or would you guys move to a paid game like Counter-Strike? Or, uh, since you can pay money now for Arctic Combat, would you do that? But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching this commentary. Please leave your creative and interesting responses in the uh, comments section below, as Ray William Johnson, whatever his face says. And I'll see you next time. Shadowlance out.